Hollywood couple Shawn Mendes and Camila Cabello had quite the scary experiences last week at their Los Angeles property. The two were actually home when burglars broke into the residence through a window. While the criminals made a speedy exit, once they realized Shawn and Camila were home, they grabbed the keys to one of Shawn's cars on the way out. And he's down a G-Wagon. But at least the couple is safe. The pair has been pretty inseparable for a couple years now and have been living and spending quarantine in LA in the luxury house Camila bought in 2019. If they ever feel the need for a change of scenery, Sean still owns some real estate in his native Canada. Today, we'll check them out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sean Mendes is a Canadian singer, songwriter and more who first rose to fame posting song covers to the now extinct video sharing app Vine. After the world heard his range of vocal talent, the next stop was stardom. His other half, Camila Cabello, is a Cuban American singer, songwriter, and actress. And while she started off as a member of the girl group Fifth Harmony, I think we can all agree she's found considerably more success as a solo artist. Her debut album was number one on the Billboard charts and her songs have been proven fan favorites much like her boo Sean. Over the last couple years, it's reported that Sean has earned close to $90 million, a lot of which was from his 2019 world tour. And while he hasn't been able to tour due to the pandemic, he still earned himself an estimated net worth of about $40 million dollars or more. Camila is also super successful in her own right with a net worth of about 14 million dollars. And let's not forget the 3,500 square foot mansion to her name in the Hollywood Hills. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. In this video, we're going to check out the gorgeous estate that Camila Cabello and Sean Mendes call home in LA, as well as Sean's Toronto condo. Like I said, as usual, I'm not giving you guys the addresses so after that scary robbery we won't be putting your favorite singing duo in any more danger. On this channel we talk about celebrity houses but if you want to know about their other lavish purchases go subscribe to Famous Fashion where myself and some other hosts are reporting on all things celebrity fashion, expensive items and more. The couple ended up calling off their engagement before even making it down the aisle and split in 2003 but the memory of the pink diamond lives on. As always don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's Let's get into this video. While we all know Camila hails from Cuba and half of her heart still remains in Havana, in 2019 the pop star put down some roots in Hollywood. While she often visits her family back in Florida where she grew up, it only makes sense that she lives close to the action and other celebrity folk. Her Mediterranean style villa costs her about $3.4 million and it's located in the heart of town, in the leafy streets of the Hollywood Hills and just above the Sunset Strip. Neighbors in the area include the likes of Queen drummer Roger Taylor, singer Adam Lambert and more. While Camila bought the home before she started dating Sean, it wasn't long before the couple moved in together and it seems the worldwide pandemic made them closer than ever. With the home's interior spanning 3,570 square feet, I think it would be a little big for just one person anyways. Camila and Sean's Hollywood house was originally built in 1977 but has underwent multiple remodels in the many years since, and Camila purchased the home from Bollywood star Yudi Chopra. The villa sits somewhat close to the street but still offers perfect privacy with most of the front of the home, aside from the two car garage hidden behind tall trees. Not to mention, a fully gated and camera watched courtyard also protects the home's glass front door, but it seems all of that wasn't quite enough to stop the burglars. Once inside the couple's home, the foyer boasts sand colored tiles, and nearby there's a sunken family room with fireplace and hardwood flooring. The kitchen has been fully updated and redone recently, and is full of the latest stainless steel appliances, bar style seating, and a ton of natural light. The formal dining room with large arched windows is attached to this space and elsewhere. The home has four bedrooms and four baths. In some of the common spaces, the floor to ceiling glass sliders completely tuck away to blend the indoors with the outdoors, making the backyard seem larger than it is. One sitting room in particular opens right up to the poolside, so close you could jump right in. The bedrooms are plush and while all guest rooms upstairs are ensuite, the most impressive is the master. Sean and Camila's retreat boasts hardwood floors, a fireplace, and a bathroom with dual vanities and a soaking tub. The fourth bedroom is technically a spare room and could be used for an office if one prefers. 
Finally, while the yard is cozy and not very large, whoever designed it made sure to maximize use of the space. Outside, there is both a fire pit and a separate fireplace lounge, as well as a dining area and, of course, the saltwater plunge pool. Privacy extends to the backyard as it's surrounded by high walls and leafy hedges and vines. On the other hand, Sean has long owned a condo in the heart of downtown Toronto for years now. While he hails from an area outside the major city, Pickering, Ontario, it seems that when he made it big, he treated himself to a luxe condo closer to the action. This star has been pretty private about his home in Toronto, and for a long time, fans had zero idea as to what the place looked like. All we kind of had an idea of was that Sean had the signature views from the six, like Drake had. Of course, the famous CN Tower. More recently, the account Any Homes showed the Pickering natives luxury apartment in downtown Toronto, which boasts 1,144 square feet of space, as well as three beds and two baths. In Sean's Netflix documentary, Sean Mendes in Wonder, the interior of the home is also shown briefly, and the singer claims the landscape outside is the best view he's seen in the city, which is also likely the reason he hasn't upgraded to a bigger property in Canada since. While Sean could definitely afford an even more expensive and bigger place, his condo is far from basic. He reportedly bought the property back in 2017 for $1.75 million and likely pays about $1,100 per month in maintenance fees and the like on top of that. This comes with other perks though, like two heated parking spots, which you'll need if you're in Canada. Sean has shown peaks of his condo over the years and on Instagram and Facebook, but knowing more of the details now, we can see how stunning it really is. His condo was built in 2011 and sold to the first owner in October, but Sean was able to snag it next. The building is centrally located and does provide one of the best views in the city, the exact location hasn't been revealed in order to preserve Sean's privacy. Aside from the indoor square footage, the penthouse boasts an additional 750 square foot terrace overlooking that CN Tower view and the Rogers Center. In his unit, one bedroom has direct access to the sprawling terrace and what the video calls a decent sized closet. While Sean's kitchen isn't exceptionally large, it has all you need to cook up a meal, including granite stone countertops and dark wooden cabinets, with a fridge that blends into the cabinets as well. The nearby dining area can fit up to six guests at the dinner table, and the space is complete with a chandelier and room to move around. His open concept condo also flows into the living room, where you'll find floor to ceiling windows to soak up that city view. Another guest room faces the Rogers Center, which is right across from Sean's master suite. When the star couple stays in Toronto, they can enjoy a walk-in closet and more floor to ceiling windows with stunning views from the master, while the ensuite has dual van a massive soaking tub, and separate rainfall shower. The building itself offers a comfy lounge area and a handful of other amenities like a private gym just down the hall from Sean. While the pair has been shacking up in LA for the most part, Sean and Camila did spend some time at the downtown condo with their pup Tarzan after spending Christmas with Sean's family in Pickering. And it seems like they enjoy it here too. But with a luxury condo like that, who wouldn't? All right, so it's time for me to wrap up this house tour. After checking out Sean Mendes and Camila Cabello's homes, what did you guys guys think. While the pair spends most of their days at the LA estate Camila bought back in 2019, they still have Sean's Toronto condo to escape to should the mood strike. Out of their two properties, which would you rather live at? Or what were your favorite features of the place? I'm not one for living in a sky rise personally, it just doesn't seem homey enough, but it definitely makes for a stunning getaway spot. Be sure to rate Sean and Camila's properties down in the comments. If you haven't, I'd love it if you subscribe to my personal channel if you want to get to know me better. I'll link you my latest video and I post one every Sunday. We are staying at the Fairmont Banff Spring, but when we arrived, I was even more excited to find out the place is haunted. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.